Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Photofax Podcast. My name is Jim Felder, and I'm Jeff Moore. <laughs> <laughs> we have Robert Trey. You had a little weight there, didn't you, Jeff? <laughs> hey, what can I say? <laughs> had a lot of burgers this weekend. We are again here at the uh, Bedford Camera and Video Store in Oklahoma City, and we're live. And we're live. That's right. We, we are two camera set up that may. The lips may be moving to the sound of something else. <laughs> oh, Jeff just, just gave me those small well, signals. Probably just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. So, like those Chinese tr- movies. Trying to work out the sync issues here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Wednesday after Bedford PhotoCon 2016. Which I have to say was a huge success. It was a huge success. It was absolutely incredible. We had It was a blast. I loved it. You know, we couldn't get a a definite amount of numbers, but I'm going to go Am I not deep enough? Just just talk. Just talk. I would say that we had really over four hundred and fifty photographers. Yeah. Very easily. Just based on the registrations from online and then all the photographers that showed up to register at the registration desk the day of. Yes. Uh, uh, you didn't go to any classes, did you? No. You don't ever do. You, you pay money to go to conventions and, and workshops, and you don't ever sit in the classes. No. Uh, no. I don't understand that. That's because the majority of the learning happens outside the class. Yeah, I get that, but no, it does. You're, you're at, it does. So you've plateaued. You don't need to learn anymore. Oh no, I need to learn all the time. That's why I'm outside learning from other people. So did you go to Sue Bryce? Did you go to Sue Bryce? I did go to Sue Bryce. I didn't get catch the entire uh, class, but I I did come into the bulk of it. It was it was phenomenal. I loved it. Yes, you had a fantastic class. Literally gave me chills at the end. I was just like the whole thought of the everything she just talked about was. Moving and it just, I just love her. I, I think it was a lot of food for thought. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. So while you were doing that, I was outside talking to Will Crockett okay. for an hour and a half. So we sat down and worked on my business plan and what we need to work on in the future. So you did. Awesome. No, I'm just teasing you. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah, because he's not covered that with me. He's not talked talk to me about that at all. So I don't tell you everything. You're like my, you're my Photofax podcast spouse. So I have to keep some secrets from you. Uh, you don't keep, well, yeah, you keep secrets from me, but you're anyway. funny. <laughs> no, normally at these things, I, um, uh, just trying to make sure things flow well. I kind of did pop my head in there once or twice with Sue Bryce, and I must have caught some pretty emotional moments because the room was just like pin drop quiet. Mm. It was, you know, I kind of walked in and thought, okay, hopefully no one noticed. I just came in the back door very quietly, and it's really quiet. And it was, it was almost like a sniffly quiet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but um, so I, wa- I was I was going to uh, listen to was some was it recorded, Jeff? Sue Bryce? Yeah. Yes, it, oh. it was recorded. And yeah. where, when when do we get that? Well, we have to uh, kind of look it over and uh, just also kind of take a look into her contract of what we can release. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. So she has a contract. Well, the, the, you know, uh, all these special guest speakers have, you know, certain little bits and pieces as far as what can be released, how much can be released, you know, what can be shared. So we'll just kind of fine-tune it there. Yeah, okay. you know, speaking of that, I did not find my green M&Ms in my hotel room. Did you? <laughs> did, did, you did you, Jim? Uh, you really went there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway. Anyway, so, so let's talk about what all happened. What all happened? Well, there, there were uh, – Several classes, like tandem, like there was a class. Yeah, two you could, classes at a time. Yeah, you could go to one or the other during certain time, certain times of the day, uh, Friday and Saturday. Um, so you you go ahead. Oh, I'm going nowhere. <laughs> You're going nowhere with this. So Friday we had classes, right? And uh, so a big shout out to Eric and Eric Epperly Images. Yes. And is it like Model Talent Agency? Something like that. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. We never believed that that many beautiful models can come from Ada. Ada, Oklahoma, of all places. Yeah. So he brought some models for us to photograph. We had an awesome trade show. 
Oh yeah, it was a great trade show. It was because, it was because, because cool. we were actually in the trade show this we time. We were in the trade show. That's why which it was, was so awesome. Which was awesome. We had to break down the box or anything. Right. Yeah. And then we had some amazing speakers. You got to speak. I which did. Was, which is really cool. Yeah. I had a bunch of people in there. They just kept coming in. I was I was thinking at first I had like five or ten people and then it just kept flowing in. I'm like no. Well, they kept gonna, coming in. We're outside paying them. No. What, like, what, the reason they kept coming in, they didn't want to sit. In the baby's class, so they they just came to my, to my class to. You know. Yes, yes, newborn photography with. Um, Wendy was it? Wendy White. Wendy White. Wendy White. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wendy White, which we had on the show. Uh, yes, we and did. her husband Dustin. Yes, that's right, and we finally got him on there. Yeah, that was a that was. A I don't great know time. why I kept thinking his name was Destin. Well, Destiny, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's from. Uh, you know I got to give a shout to Anna Lee. Yeah. We tried to get her on the podcast, and we kind of sideswiped, and she had to run to Tulsa for uh, a photo shoot, and we just could not connect. So we're going to hopefully get her on the show later on. Yeah, it would have been great to have year. Sue Bryce on, on because she's got that accent. That would have been great. Speaking That'd of be, accents, yeah, I just got to give you a point. I know you haven't listened to Voxer this morning, but one of our friends on Voxer has switched her GPS navigation to Australian. Oh, really? <laughs> Let me guess. Vanessa. Vanessa, yes. Yeah. Yes. Shout Hi, out to Vanessa. Vanessa. Vanessa has a crush on Jerry Guiones. Just FYI. Yes, she does. <laughs> I think if she had a choice of Jerry Guiones and Jasmine Starr, she would like be in awe. She also has a new 610. Uh, yes, she does. Nikon D610. She, she was very quite happy. happy with it. Yes. It was awesome. So, so uh, who else do we have on speakers? We had uh, Sue Will, Bryce. Sue Bryce, Will Crockett. Um, Moose Peterson. Moose Peterson, right. Which did a one-on-one with 20 people. Yeah, a zoo shoot. Um, the zoo shoot. Sold at out. The zoo. Yeah. yeah. It was a sold-out event there. And, um, hey, I'm waiting to kind of see some of those images. So I would have to say, if anybody out there was uh, at the photo shoot at the Oklahoma City Zoo with Moose Peterson, yes, you know, bring your images out. Bring him here to Bedford Cameron Video. We kind of like to take a look at him because he is a great instructor. He has a lot of great tips. And, you know, it's just, hey, it's awesome. it was a wonderful day. Oklahoma City Zoo, what else can you, uh, what else can you ask for? That's right. I, I think it's awesome, especially with Moose. Mm-hmm. And Moose appears like he's lost a lot of weight. Did you see that? I, I did not see Moose Peterson at all. He must be working hard. So, Jeff, I, I yes, can't sir. see your face. But oh, okay. What, what, uh, Let me see if I can do the switch here. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, what, there, oh, what there, uh, and, and Sony. Yes, and we did and interview, Tamron. and we did interview the Canon uh, printer guy. Yes, the which I want to say, Vincent, I, mm-hmm. Vincent um, Van Gogh. No, <laughs> so we got we got Vinny and Vincent with Canon. Yes. <laughs> All right, yeah. it was pretty awesome. Yeah. But I want to reach out to the Canon people mm-hmm. because um, I asked them how did the print class go with Vincent, and they all said it was really good. And the, uh, over dinner that we had Friday night. I sat down in the class with some folks, and one young lady was having a lot of problems with her Canon camera. I mean, her, her Canon printer. Right. Um, and actually, right now, I can't remember what it was. I was probably too dehydrated to remember. But in the entire class, Vincent never mentioned Canon's tech support for cameras, or excuse me, for printers. 1 800 OK Canon. And uh, they do not outsource their calls. It, it's United States on the East Coast or the West Coast. You're going to get an, an American-speaking person. Yeah, I remember. To yeah, help I remember you that with now. that issue. It's interesting that it was okay, Canon. I think the same you know? thing. I asked them they should move their tech center to Oklahoma. Yeah, because it's okay, Canon. Well, it is okay, Canon, because the the Nikon number is one eight hundred. We are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Now that makes me wonder if we call that number, what would you get? What's the most famous telephone number in history? Well, is it nationally eight, or six, locally? Eight six seven five three zero nine. There yeah. you go. <laughs> eight five. Okay. That, that, you that's that's pretty pretty <laughs> <laughs> have you ever called that number? Nope. You I may. I may have back in the day. You should try. Oh, it. Come on. You'll be surprised. It, admit it, Jim. You did. No, you no, did I, don't, I don't know. I don't remember if I did or not. I guess it depends on what area code it is. Right. Okay. So what area code do they use in movies that doesn't exist in real life? Five five five. You're the man. It's actually watches. the area code and the prefix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, area code M five 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 O U eight one two. So where's this podcast going? Uh, <laughs> right in the trash can. Well, 
We're going to continue on with uh, another thing that i um, kind of like to highlight that was, uh, f you know, at the trade show for the first time. Ever. Bra yeah. Brand new vendor for a flash diffuser like this. And so, Robert, put your coffee down. Put my coffee down. He's going to toss me something. Oh, mag my mod. God. The only guy that doesn't do any sports whatsoever just caught Jim, there you a Magmod. Magmod. New diffusers there. Okay. Uh, they were actually part of, a, I believe, a Kickstarter program. And, it's, yeah, if um, I can get you a knife if you have to open that sucker up. Or are you prepared? <laughs> yeah. Man, so man, are we man opening, of the force. There we, we go. He's prepared. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I like the Apple packaging. Oh, I do, too. <laughs> So let's, so let's start with their first. These guys are Apple qualified. Yeah. So Magmar, uh, it's a brand new uh, diffuser setup Ooh. that is, it, it uses magnets to attach the device to the flash. Now, Jim, if you hold that up there, you have That's the, the mount? That's the mount. Okay. So that mount would wrap around the flash, and you can feel on the corners there, there are two magnets. Okay. Yes. Pretty solid. Yeah. So, with the diffuser that Robert has, that just snaps on directly on top of those magnets. Okay. Now, you see, there's four of them there, so you can actually rotate it to where if you want it to bounce. Nine, yeah. That sticks pretty light. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty solid. It, it's fairly solid. So uh, I'm gonna go around the counter here. I'm gonna grab a flash uh, so we can have flash to kind of look at. That it. So is Jim, since you very, there, that's a very stout. Uh, magnets. Does it say anything wow. about what kind of magnets? Is it like one of those uh, cubic zirconians? Look at that. Ah, oh, you got to give it some. Let's see if you can. Now here's okay. the here's the trick that again it just has you know you just got to get used to is applying the it goes mount. Like this, yeah, correct? just just like that. Applying the mount. You gotta. It's pretty solid, so you gotta <laughs> stretch it over. Oh, too Jim, bad. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Okay, we really can't <laughs> film the, the way he's trying to put this thing on. <laughs> <laughs> here, let's let I Jeff do once, it. I did it once before, so he's gonna do it, do it here. Off I don't here. have enough strength of these arms. I don't have the guns. There, there, there is not enough video power that can go into this. All right, so Woo, that's uh, so again, there you have we to go. come it's, into Bedford's to get it, to <laughs> have them put it on for you. So again, that <laughs> it's with it on there, it's solid. I mean, that is it is very solid. solid. So then okay, you just then, take your diffuser and plop. Let's see. Here's the just kind of flash. Just goes right on. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Look at that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I gotta say that's that's just ugly. <laughs> I'm just telling you, hey, it's yeah. ugly. But it, okay. it's handy. It's collapsible. I mean, you could even put it in your pocket. It's so flexible. Yes, it okay. is, I will give you that. It is very flexible. Okay. Now uh, there's um, others that they have. You can attach to that. Say grids. Mm -hmm. Little honeycomb grids you can attach direct to that. You can even stack the grids on top of that, so you can. Oh, cool! They also have uh, color gels that's going to attach to that. And the the big the newest item that they have is a snoot. They have a snoot that extends, that re you know again attaches directly to that. But you don't have that here. No, we got it in we got it over there uh, uh, along the wall. So you want to talk about a new product, but you're not going to pull it out for us to see. Well, give me a second here. Okay, I'm going okay, so to put you on camera. I okay. want to see this little gizmo thing here. Okay, that is on there pretty, so pretty tight. It, for the listeners that are not able to see, we are going to put photos up uh, on the blog post if you haven't seen them already. Uh, go to our website to see these. Uh, or go to the Bedford Camera video, uh, see, Bedford Camera YouTube channel and get the uh, uh, the video for this, this episode. Sorry, I'm, yeah. I'm distracting you, Jim. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you need, like, the... Bedford Cameron Video YouTube, bedfords.com. Yes. Well, there, we go. there you go. Take that on there. So, so that's uh, the snoot. I'm opening the snoot right now as mm -hmm. we speak. I like how you just take the magnets off and you can rotate it around. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's, that's actually pretty easy. Wow, and these magnets are super strong. Oh, watch this. Oh, what? What? Do, it again. do it again, Jim. <laughs> do it again, do it again. Ready? There you go. Let me let me expand it even more. Look at that. Wow. wow. <laughs> so that's basically has multiple. All right. So let's pop no, that baby on here. Now wait a second. That's a very tiny snoot. Yeah. That's that's what I was thinking. Like it's kind pinpoint, of a tiny snoot. Pinpoint. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, it even has a little bag. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, show, show the bag. There you go. Little bag there. Sorry, listeners. Uh, you can't see this. I thought that would make it larger, but it doesn't. No, it doesn't make it larger. No. Hmm. So this would be very, very tight. Mm -hmm. 
and then you can collapse it down. So you know what though? So, Stage one is twelve point five degrees. Mm-hmm. Probably because Stage you're so, two is fifteen so degrees. The stage four, when it's all the way out, is yes. forty degrees. So I'm assuming that means the, yes, the mm-hmm. more narrow, more narrow. How how is it? Yeah. Yeah. The, turn, turn the, around. the, see, the how closer, is that possible? See, yeah, see, the closer it's, it's, it is to the flash head, mm-hmm. the wider the angle. Right, right, because the light's not having light, just there like you. water. Yeah. Water. 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 So. Yeah, we'll post pretty, some uh, pictures on the on there. So okay, this, so here's, here's this was a Kickstarter project. Yeah, there's the there's the honeycomb. This was a Kickstarter pr- mm-hmm. project. Sweet, you keep giving me stuff that I have to. So he, it's okay. So uh, he, if you want, yeah, if you want to go ahead and open that, again, it's just gonna you can uh, demonstrate that you could layer a lot of these adapters. There you go. He's gonna look. Robert looks impressed there. I, I'm looking kind of impressed. This <laughs> looks a little futuristic. Sweet. Okay, uh, here's the mount. Okay, kind of so cool. There we here's, go. Here's the grid. Mm-hmm. Oh, bring has, me. Yeah. Now, so. now, does this just have metal in it, or do they all have? They don't all have magnets. They, they all have magnets. Yeah. So that you could attach to your his flash. Boom. There you go. Boom. <laughs> That's cool. There you go. Wow. Huh. Now I'm curious if the guy that came up with this was a photographer. Yeah. Exactly. That's just all rubber. It's not even. Um, yeah, it's, it's not even mesh. It's, it's all. Show me out here, Jeff. Right, yeah, there you go. That is all rubber. There's no like extra piece. It's, There's it's, nothing hard in there other than the magnets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty slick. Mm-hmm. Smells like rubber too. <laughs> <laughs> I had to smell it. Oh my god! I like the smell of new tires. tires. Oh, new tires? No. Kind of pull no. his own, you know, uh, Jared Poland intimida- intimidation. Int- intimidation. Intimidation. <laughs> Imitations Jim, like did, the sniff test. Did you uh, smell your new tire that you got the other day after your after uh, your? Yes, flat? I did. I, I was going to say that I got a flat after shooting a house yesterday, uh, driving away from the house, or like. Walking, like, it wasn't even a block. It was just around the corner, like, right down the street. I pulled away, and my tire was flat. I, I don't know if it, I guess it happened before. But anyway, I had to change the flat. And just before I shot the house, it was raining cats and dogs. After I shot the house, I had a flat. I, I got to change my flat in no rain. But it was without great. any cats and dogs. Exactly. The cats and dogs were, were not coming down. They were completely gone. So I got it fixed. It was... Uh, you know, for in a couple hours, I got it fixed. So, yeah, it's all good. That's awesome. It was a crazy the tire. day. I can smell the tire even when I get out of my car in the garage, and when I go out to the garage, it's, it still oh, yeah. smells like new tires. Well, well, this so. is quite the little ingenious thing. I do like the boxes, though. I, I would like to. Uh, I don't have my camera with me, but but I, you want to see what it does. I want to see how it works um, because I have definitely used my share of diffusers or modifiers on my flash for like the party bag looks like it's micro cloth so you use it to clean your hey that would be cool yeah so be I'm, not, cool. I'm not sure about the snoot <laughs> you're not sure about the snoot no we've got some uh, colored gels uh mm-hmm. holders yep. over there too well i gotta tell you the uh the mag mod uh, mag bounce i i think that uh quality of light would probably work pretty good it's just kind of weird hmm? very weird it's new it normally oh. it's like Oh yeah, just cause new. At, at this at this stage in our life, it's like okay, it's new. It's we're new. not used to it, ah. so it's like okay, it might be weird. It's weird. Okay. Oh. Okay. But you get used to things like that. So yes. Are, am I on camera? Whoa. Oh. There you go. <laughs> wow. You go. Okay, so we've got this holder, and it's got several colors of gel. Well, hey, don't don't uh, don't not share. Oh, I, I'll share. Uh, so here's this. This is uh, this is a CTO, half CTO. Half CTO. Okay. So then you've got all of these uh, different colors. Oh, they look pretty thick too, Jim. Yeah, they are thick. You wanna you wanna hold let me, one? Let me, let me hold one. Oh, that's pretty. Um... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. And the holder. Mm-hmm. Let's hmm. see. Oh, look at that. It, it just kind of pops out. It just pops out. Yeah, that's pretty slick. Okay, like that. that is that is pretty slick. I, I'm liking this part. Okay, so I like we that got, part. We got a thumbs up with the color gels. Yes, yes. thumbs up on the color yeah, gels. And it, and it actually comes with what is that? This. I'm not sure uh, exactly. Because we're not going to read instructions. This little Hummer. Mm-hmm. What is that? Uh, I think that might be uh, an attachment tool. 
Oh, you know what that is? I know what that is. Here you go. Hang on, hold that right there. Don't don't do something silly. Be no, no, I'm not, dude. This is this is. <laughs> haven't you ever seen those cool photographers and they have the little wristbands on? Oh, see, I knew he was gonna go there. <laughs> okay, it's a transmitter band. Okay, it's a transmitter band. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Yeah, so you can so take your oh, oh, now this mm-hmm. is this sold separately? No. Yeah, it was inside that it's box. It's inside of the this gels. box. Yeah. yeah, the color gels comes with a flash. Mount, oh, yep. or, uh, and then the color gel holder. Mm-hmm. And okay, I the like the transmitter mount. Transmitter mount. And let me tell you why. I love radio poppers. I hate the little plastic mounts that they mount the flash on to hold the radio poppers in place. Yes, yeah. that, would be, that would be perfect for my cyber sinks, that thing right there. Yes, it would. Yes. Maybe, I don't know. This is kind of looks a little bit large. <laughs> funny so i tried to i tried to put this uh this grid oh it comes with a grid too mm-hmm. uh, but i tried to put it in the box one way and it will not go in because of the magnets so oh. uh, i turn it around and it goes right in <laughs> okay put that in there okay all right boring something else better now okay hey uh, oh Robert. no here put that one here the mag grip goes in here are you sure yeah i thought I that came, the box i thought one. that i just told them that it came with this it does come with the mag grip well where's yeah. the mag oh the mag grip for this one is the one that's on the um yeah on the still flash on the, the flash, flash. Yes. okay so how does that that doesn't go in there well does sure it? it does it's magnets there <laughs> jim you've never worked in retail have you <laughs> what are you talking about i worked in retail for seven months well as a matter of fact i did work in retail Okay, it's it's silent. We're having uh, cricket sounds here. No, we're not having cricket sounds. Okay. Well, um, okay. Another, what are we doing next? Well, another new item that we had on the uh, trade, on the show, trade floor show floor was from your uh, good friend. Uh, Ooh, Xavier. Mr. Xavier. Yeah, Xavier. I, I put a uh, diffuser right ne- there next to you, Robert. <clears throat> so yeah. Wow. This is my yeah. awesome. Amazing bring, bring, speed! Oh, it's still it too far. There, oh. there you go. All right, now, now, now it's the That's XP cool. I'm so photo excited. Gear. Yeah, XP speed photo gear. Yeah. I'm so glad, glad that you guys got that in the store now. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. This is the steel rod version, which is the improved one. Mm-hmm. Now, which one? Oh, this is the 60. But this one's not put together, is it? Nope. No, let's go ahead it's not and get it together. out. Let's cut, get it out on demo. And as you're we're doing gonna demo that, it. Hang on. Let's yeah, we're gonna. I should have just brought mine from the house. Oh, and the boxes have magnets on them. I'm going to remove because Magmog. Camera here. Okay, so the Speedbox 60. Mm-hmm. This is uh, this is definitely one of my favorite little girls. This right here is key to the whole system. So when you get a diffuser, you know I'm going to be honest with all the listeners out there and anybody that's watching. When you buy a diffuser, you know comparing one size to another is basically the same thing. Light quality is not going to change. You're not going to see a huge increase or change. Huge. It's huge. Call Trump. Uh, But what you are going to pay for is you're paying basically for the setup and teardown. And that's why they called this the speed box. Let me see if we can get this thing set up. This might take a while. So, Jim, why don't you chit-chat some more while he's filming me? Okay, I'm going to chit-chat. So, are you going to chit-chat? Oh, I missed a bag. There's a bag goes in the box somewhere. You missed a bag. <laughs> so, um, you're horrible, Jim, horrible. I, I don't know and what to talk about. We actually use these at the our little photo walk oh, the other night. Oh, that's right, right. yes. Yeah, we, so. we, yeah, Jeff came out and videotaped us a little mm-hmm. bit or recorded us. Uh, yeah, we shoot, shot some, some of the models that came to the, to the expo. Or the sorry, the uh, photocon, and uh, we used these these modifiers. I used uh, an A100. Is that what it was, Robert? Yeah, the A100. It actually goes on a Bowens mount. We used the Interfit S1, battery powered, 500 watts, high speed sync. Thing is awesome. It, you know, I've shot four or five events with it, and it's so cool to walk in and not have to look for an electrical outlet. Right. It's. I, I just can't tell you how awesome that is. But the 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 XP Photo Gear, I don't know that the 60 has this, but you can modify the mount uh, where the flash goes and, and change it out with a, an S or any any of the uh, right, mounts any of the, for, any for of the, the studio lights, for mono lights. 
So Absolutely. We're just about done getting this thing put together. I actually have an, uh, I actually have a uh, Speedbox 70, and I love it. It actually, I, I found out this weekend, I've had it for a few months, but uh, I found out that it, you can take the, the, the outside diffuser, diffuser off. off, and inside is, it's uh, lined with silver, reflective silver, and it has a second baffle inside that you can take the, the, the front one off and use it as a kind of a more specular lighting, and mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like a beauty beauty dish, sort of. And then you can even take the uh, baffle out, the second baffle, and put the diff the top diff diffuser back on and use it as a more, uh, more as get more light that way, uh, more directional light. Um, That's it, you're doing great, Jim. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hold my finger and my thumb the right way to get these things together. Do you need some help, Robert? No, okay. not at all. So that's the speed that that speed box sixty will not take a uh, S mount, correct? It, it looks like the hole is too is, small. That is correct. the The hole is too small, but also the uh, the new A one hundred, which is um, I don't know what that is in inches, but it's big. It's it's ginormous. Yes, the 70, it's 70 millimeters, or centimeters is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's centimeters, it's 60 centimeters. It's like 40, 40 inches, yeah. give or take. Right. So what I also wanted to say is, if you'll notice, Jeff, on, on this uh, mount mm -hmm. for, for, the, uh, for the speed box, all the, all the speed boxes have yes, this mount, mount for your flash. Well, mm -hmm. also it has a built-in trigger. If you'll notice on the end there, right, right. There. there's a place right. for a battery. It's a place for a battery, which yep. they have their own, uh, XP Photo Gear has their own triggers, mm -hmm. and you can put your flash on there, and it will fire your flash with their trigger. Uh, I didn't know that early on when I first I, met. I don't use theirs. I don't, I don't either. But I always keep an extra battery in here. Because but with, with a lot of flashes that have the radio that's starting to be built in, mm -hmm. it's not going to factor in if they're like, well, use the box. I don't want to use the transmitter because it's built in. Right. Right, yeah. exactly. Okay. What, what I do is take off that tr that shoe right there, that mm -hmm. hot shoe, and I put my – see here, Jeff? Oh, yeah. I put the uh, my flash foot – Right here, uh -huh. and uh, then I turn my flash sideways if if it doesn't fit. Because I use uh, I use uh, some Yongnuo triggers, and I just turn my head sideways. But my new flash, my Yongnuo flash with the Yongnuo trigger, uh, works fine going straight in. But it actually makes it up like really high. Mm -hmm. So fortunately, this will adjust in height. Yeah, I've tried all kinds of flash and trigger combinations. And by having this open gate technology, normally you have a bar right here, mm -hmm. so you can't get your flash with a trigger attached. So right. you wind up having to rotate the flash body and putting the flash in backwards, which basically hides the instrument panel. True. Yeah. And that's a pain. So this thing is totally awesome. All right, so now we have the speed box set up. Look how easy this thing is to go. I could put this inside the box. And I can have this deployed in 60 seconds or less. And doesn't this, does the 60 come with a case? Yeah, all yeah, of them yeah. come with a case. A little bag. Yeah. There you go. This thing is already deployed. You slide this on here and put on your flash and trigger, and you're good to go. All and right. then takedown. Yeah, this is the this Takedown is, is the fun part. Two buttons, you push, cool. bam. You're done, and you're on the road. So if you have some of those other boxes out there, and I'm going to be honest with you, the quality of light, you're not going to see a difference. You know, you can't sit there and look at the light quality of one photo and say, oh, that was X box or this box or Y box. But when it goes to tear down and set up, this is a lot easier than carrying one that's completely attached in your yeah. car, bouncing around with your kids' Cheerios. Either that or having to, having to collapse it every time and put it back up. It's just, you know. Oh, yeah, taking a regular soft box and pulling the. Uh, you know, pulling the, the rods out of the yeah. speed, yeah, that's a pain yeah, in the neck. It is. Yeah, this, I love this thing. The 60 is what I would recommend for most people starting out because the front diffusion panel is attached. It's not yeah. going to come off. Right. And then so you can move up to the 70 that's going to give you some different uh, specularity if you remove the front panel. Right. You have the silver inside. And yeah. You, oh, yeah, it's awesome. I love these things. They are. I'm, I'm really excited that they they added the uh, where you can take off the plate to put in a a, a monolight. Mount. Yes, yeah. on the on the A100 it is, um, and I will say I'm I, you know of course Xavier's gonna look at this and like he's gonna call me later on. I I can't remember 
what he told me, but there's only basically three screws that hold this mount for a flash in. Mm -hmm. And then you had the gigantic big hole behind it. Right. So it seems like I vaguely remember that there were some mounts of these being... For the 60? Well, for the 60, the 60 and the 70, the 55, the 47, they all use this same circular design. Right. So these three screws, if you can, if you can see, these three, three screws right here would remove this mount. Part. Right. Yeah, I saw it at the at the photocon. Right, but they have it on the on the A100, which is much larger than this. Oh, I see. But I think there's some that you could take this one off. Okay. And put it on a smaller studio. Stroke. Okay, I see. So, but yeah, love yeah. these things. They are, oh my God, they're like they're part of my kit. Yeah, me too. I love. I I'd love like to have them. a second XP or a a, a second Speedbox 70. Well, you know, speaking of the Speedbox 70 and talking about Ray Quesada, which is a friend of ours from mm -hmm. Dallas, Dallas. Who was at the photo walk? The was at the photo walk. Yeah. Was. Not at the photo walk. Not at the photo walk. He was at the at our after, after hours after, yeah. photo shoot. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. The, yes. Yeah, our own little. Our own little. Yes. Now, to photo the walk. listeners out there, yeah. this is something we're trying to incorporate into future photo cons. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, please call the store and talk to Eric. <laughs> Jeff's <laughs> laughing because you know Eric's going to get a lot of phone calls now. <laughs> or email the store and tell them, hey, I want to get in on Robert's special photo shoot after PhotoCon. And Jim was out there. And you know what was funny? I didn't take a single picture. Yep. That doesn't surprise me. Well, you're, you're offering some helpful tips. I was, yeah. I was in there offering helpful tips. But did you happen to see the video that Jeff did of Ray on stage demoing some of the XP photo gear stuff. Yes, I did. And did you notice, because we've been talking about the whole headshot thing on location. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you happen to see the one where he was using the speed box 60 above and then the 55 or the 47 below? It's a little bit more of a rectangle. I did not. I think you need to go look at those images because I was quite surprised. It's exactly what that's, we were talking that's about. That's exactly what we were. Yeah, I actually, I actually talked to uh, Xavier about that uh -huh. very thing, taking the, the strip box that he has, getting one of those, mm -hmm. and using it with the 70. And I believe if you use like an extension arm to a pretty heavy-duty boom. No, 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 just no. an extension arm. You know how you have the yeah. extension arm like you'd have for... Uh, Oh, yeah, for like a, you know, the like a Manfrotto. Yeah, yes. exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think if you attach those to a pretty heavy light stand that would support both of those units. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. You'd be able to. Just, and he actually had it just slightly offside because you yeah. can't shoot through it. You, yeah. You just had it kind of slightly offside why I boom. for a nice little clam, clamshell lighting. Yeah, that's cool. I'll have to check that out. I, I was pretty impressed. So you can check out Ray Casada at raycasada.com. Mm -hmm. Well, I noticed on the video that he did have a reflector on the floor. <laughs> That wasn't contributing at all, was it? I, I was think it? the reflector on the floor was just because it was in his way, and he just threw it down there. Yeah, I was that's, wondering because he was walking all over it. I didn't know what was up with that. I mean, I I, I thought it was he was trying to get something out of it, but it was just too low. There wasn't really any I think it was a it. hat trick. You know, like you're going to do a demo, and you, get the, <laughs> you play with the reflector, pop it out, and then you throw it down, and everybody says, oh, my God. <laughs> I have to put a reflector in the middle of the studio to get that awesome light. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a market employee to get into Bob Reflectors. Anyway, he did a great job. Oh, I mean, he, he did a fantastic job. Yeah, it was he, really uh, yeah, it was. Out there on the um, middle of the stage, we had a live feed. Yeah. I mean, it's been getting a lot of great uh, views. And, you know, hey, um, he's a talent. Yes, he, he is. is. He's, he made it look easy. That's, so that's I, talent right there. I have a question about yes, the audio. Mm -hmm. About the audio, Jeff. What audio? What happened to the audio at the beginning? You well, at, at the beginning, uh, working on a brand new app through my phone, uh, I accidentally tapped the mute button. Okay. So kind of maybe within the first, say, five minutes. Yeah, okay. let's go longer than that. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Uh, it, it was muted. And then okay. when, I, when I found out, it's like, oh, okay, uh, the mute button was on. So I tried to work on the audio and set the camera up. Then, of course, they started to blare the, um, uh, music. Right. Yes. And then yes. what yes. happened there is... Uh, YouTube tapped in on it. It's like, oh, hey, oh, you know, oh, oh. here's some <laughs> here's some music that's playing that, you know, really don't have permission. Thank you, YouTube. But uh, it, okay. everything everything went everything went fine. Yeah. Uh, we got it the idea great. worked out. Yeah. Um, we're working on all these kinks. I mean, uh, again, it's new. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. my God. Yeah. <laughs> All this is new. He's going to ride just, this to the yeah. end of 2016. I just There's some things to... that I like, some things I don't like, but it's new, and this is this is a whole exciting. new venture. It's exciting. All of this is new for all of well, us. Well, I just wanted to bring that up for the listeners that have mentioned it. I just wanted to, you know. Right. You know. Have mentioned that. Well, speaking of mentioning and speaking of photocons, if you think there's anything we can do to improve photocon, which mm-hmm. I don't think we can. You think? No, I don't. Or if you want to vote for your favorite speaker for 2016, 17, 2017, yeah. please contact Eric at Bedford's in Oklahoma City. <laughs> and if by chance you, you live in Arkansas and you're going to attend the PhotoCon there. Oh, do you know what days those are? I, I do not. I think it's August. April 1st and 2nd. What? No, that is, it's Fayetteville. That's Fayetteville. I'm yeah, sorry. That, that's the uh, new one. That's the Fayette. new one. Yeah, that's the university. That's what they're calling the university. Oh, the it's, university one. Yeah, that's in Fayetteville. It's a, it's a brand new one that we started to implement this year. So, uh, and then there's the one in Little Rock that's going to be happening in August. Uh, we're, happening we're, in August. We're getting a nod from the the, <laughs> the, the big guy. That's actually in uh, Siloam Springs. It's John Brown University. Not oh, okay. It's not, not your favorite. Not Fayetteville. Oh, not That's Fayetteville. Not Fayetteville. <laughs> well, said it wasn't Fayetteville. his favorite. <laughs> well, also we Southwest PPA in Arlington. Yeah, you know that Jeff ahead. is listening to this, and it's not your favorite. So. <laughs> yeah. Fayetteville. Fayetteville. <laughs> Fayetteville, that's it. He said not in Fayetteville. <laughs> okay. That was, that was hilarious. That was our very own Eric. Eric. Mm-hmm. So he's the one you'll be taking all the phone calls from for suggestions and what we did good and what we did right at PhotoCon. And I hope you guys had a great time with that PhotoCon. Right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, was that a was that a nice closeout? Like a. I, I don't know if it was a closeout or not. It seems like we just kind of chit chatted and like. Hey, hey, you know what? What? Chicken I got just. Butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm really hoping that Jeff. Uh, Jeff recorded this thing. You did not. You, are you he, kidding me? Again. 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 <laughs> again. again. <laughs> Jim did not hit the record button. Uh, all right, Jim, you're fine. You're fried. <laughs> really? I did not hit the record button. Because you know why? I was focused uh, on, no, no I was focused on the timing, and he says, go. So I hit go. Well, if you would even I said, hit. look at me, you're not looking at me. I know. I'm waving, my, <laughs> I'm waving the side. Like, I was uh, focused on that, so I did not record. <clears throat> why are we even using the iPad? The <laughs> iPad. If you're not going to record. And we talked last time about having a backup audio recording device. Yes, we did. Which you backed up. You by didn't talk to me and tell me to bring my <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's going, oh, God, I hope this is recording. Okay, so you know what? Let's give the listeners some good, valid information. Mm-hmm. What did you learn? What tip do you want to pass on from PhotoCon you learned this weekend? You know, uh, I, I really enjoyed Sue Bryce and the, the posing that she talked about. The three B's. The three B's? Tell us what the three B's are, Jim. <laughs> Boobs, belly, and butt. Or bum, she called it. Bum. She called the bum one because yeah. she's, she's New don't Zealand. Don't touch them. Women don't touch what? them when they're, when they're well, don't. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. It, it, was, how, it was how they pose. It's uh, how they pose. Yeah, don't, it's how. You're not going to touch yeah, your. Yeah, it's just how you, how you pose. Yeah. I, I, that was good. And, and then the way she showed us i can't show you really not, i guess i can on the thing okay wait a minute so i, I don't want to so do you it can't because, touch them or they can't touch them neither one <laughs> you, you should not touch them while they're you're photographing them in those places you know what <laughs> that's good and then also she said she pointed out that what what person meets you in a bar or whatever when you meet someone right are you gonna say hi how you doing uh you know i'm I'm Jim, and I'm, I'm touching my That boy. would be my second ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so when you're posing a woman, she is not supposed to be. So, so Sue Bryce's suggestion is not to pose women by either touching their boobs, their belly, or their bum. Yes, and, and also so she mentioned. So where do you put the hands at? Their ears? Well, you, you just, I'm, I'm motioning here. She, she said, <laughs> use your hands. Uh, she said, say ballet hands, ballet hands, and kind of. You know, do your hands and, and bring them up to your face in between your boobs. And, and then on, in between, your, in between on your, like, like, you know, like your hands and come down like this and go down to your legs. And, but don't touch those areas. Wow. But, I, so. I, um, I think I have heard something like that when she yeah. was at imaging. But I, I never heard it. Someone mentioned the three Bs. So right. now I think I'm going to remember that. Well, that's pretty good. So yeah. she had great posing skills. 
uh, skills. Yes, she, she was some other stuff, but but I, I really enjoyed that part of it because I've always now I don't have it totally dialed in. I'm going to watch some more of her stuff, mm -hmm. but I loved something easy to remember in, in posing instead of saying, "Okay, you should have the hands here, you should have another." But you know, I wanted I wanted something that I could take away that it gives gives me an overall posing tip for not just one tip. It's just an, a a general a general idea of being able to pose. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm terrible at the posing. Oh, I'm uh, horrible at posing. Now, that's with women. I don't know. Men, yeah, she said men. Oh, I, I remember this. She said men, just sit them in a chair, and they're good. Because she, 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 in, the, in the presentation, she was talking about posing men. Right. And she just said, oh, she says, okay, there's my men. That's my men topic. And she just moved. It was very quick. Just, just sit them in a chair and let them sit there and let them stand there. Well, it, it are easy. men a little bit easier? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, we're just as conscious as, as women are, I think, if not more, you know, because we're not supposed to be. So we're right. constantly thinking, you know, when I photograph senior, senior guys, you know, it's always like, hey, what do I do with my hands? Right, right. Well, I guess I should tell them, hey, no boobs. Right. <laughs> no boobs, no butt, and no belly. And no belly. So they can, right. like, stick it, you know, always tell them to put their hand in the pocket or something. Well, yeah. I learned something very interesting this weekend, and it probably has nothing that the listeners will enjoy, but a friend of mine actually went all mirrorless, sold her cannons. Oh, yeah. And went to Sony mirrorless, which is... No, it's, was it Fuji or F Sony? No, she went with Sony. Who? Leah? Yes. No, she had a Fuji at the... No, Photocon. she went Sony. Was that a Sony camera? She went Sony, I yes. I thought it was a Fuji. No, no, it was a Sony booth. <laughs> okay. It was, uh, it was pretty awesome. And uh, what I learned is this. I thought mirrorless, mirrorless cameras, all mirrorless cameras, did not have a sync speed. But this Sony, I think it's the A77 Mark II, mm. has a sync speed because the screen, the, the sensor is live viewing the entire time. And at the moment of exposure, a mechanical curtain shutter comes down. See, that's crazy. I didn't know it had that. And then opens it up and then closes it down. Because according to you, I thought you said there was no mechanical shutter. I was mistaken. Wow. Take that. That's You've what told I told a lot of people that. <laughs> well, you know, with my Fuji, and we did this at the photo walk we did the weekend, was it last weekend, mm -hmm. I shot my um, uh, Interfit lights at one two thousandths of a second because it doesn't, there's no mechanical shutter in it. Mm. But obviously the Sony has a mechanical shutter. Okay, I see. So, and I could not get a good answer of why they did that. So the, the photos of uh, Janessa? Janessa. Yes, at on the, the bike. At the water, oh, on the bike. On and the what bike. about when she was jumping? Like, was that with your SLR? That wasn't Janessa. That was uh, Shay. Oh, yes, that's that was, right. That was when a digital was SLR. Off. Okay, okay. So the ones I did of Janessa with the sun behind her, you got big hot spot that's right. on the image. Mm -hmm. um, and she's looking so seductive on that beautiful bike from Tombow Racing. Uh, that was with the Fuji, and that was basically 500 watts. I think I was at two thousandths of a second in F-16. <laughs> and that's, uh, awesome. that's the only thing I could do to darken that sky down a little bit, and yeah. it worked. But the Sony has a shutter, believe it or not. Hmm. Freaked us out. Okay. So what did you learn, Jeff? Anything? Uh, I learned... You turn can, on the audio. <laughs> <laughs> I always, <laughs> always check your audio. Um, and uh, basically, I learned that it's it, everything is open to learn some new stuff. Um, yes. I'm trying to remember uh, the gentleman who was um, there. He spoke about mixing stills and video. Yes, that would be Will Crockett. Crockett, yes. Uh, oh, wonderful joke about him in Dutch. Oh, you know, yes. We, come, no, come on. Bring it on. All right, yeah. Um, the joke was is when he got into headshots, one of his first clients was a friend of Dutch, and Dutch being the late Ronald Reagan. Yes. So Ronald Reagan calls his client's house while he's there, and he says it's his phone for you. So, you know, Crockett answers the phone, and he hears on the other line, is like, hello, well, how you doing? <laughs> this is Ronnie Reagan. You know, it's... Like, again, yes, that's a terrible That was impression. pretty bad, but, but yeah. It was, if you're bad, watching the audio, you got the head shaking and everything going down. It was awesome. And so, and so Crockett says, like, wow, yeah, he's, he says he, he does not believe that this is Ronald Reagan. So he kind of makes a comment. It's like, wow, 
do you do parties or uh, things such as that? <laughs> and he says that Reagan quipped back. It's like, yeah, I do get that a lot, of t- uh, a lot, and I would also thought that you were related to Davy Crockett. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, oh, that's hilarious. That's because so, he was quick. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, mixing uh, both still and mm-hmm. video, as opposed to uh, just going strictly with stills or strictly with video, there is a good blend for both. So having a headshot session to go ahead and capture some quick little video because it's like, you know, you can always have a photograph like whenever in years past uh, when they went to war, they would have a photograph because they might not come back. That's Mm -hmm. correct. So now have a photograph. Why don't you say something to say, like, I love you. Mm -hmm. I will see you soon. Oh, dude. That's like, okay, (laughs) something very sentimental because it's like, you know, there's always that image. But I have a... um, I have a relative that I would just love if I could hear his voice again. Wow. Yes. And so I have all these photographs, but if I had any way to hear him, his voice. That would be amazing. I would treasure that. So wow. anyway, that's that what was I learned. deep. Mm-hmm. It was deep. So that anyway, was deep. hybrid photography. Yeah. Yes, that's what it was. That's what it was. Hybrid photography with Will Crockett. We've got a lot of notes to put in. I, I didn't take any notes. notes My iPad pictures. died. Yeah, apparently you did not hit record either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, we will wing it like we always do. So we apologize if there's any audio that's been cut out because of having to reboot the audio or whatever, the video. Did yeah. you have to reboot the audio? Uh, the app. The yeah, app. You know, just, you know, just kind of, we can do easy an easy breezy little edit blend there. So yeah. no worries. Okay. We got you covered, uh, Jim, again. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, and I, I gave do up find when, we're, up. when we're out, you know, doing our podcast, but whenever there's video, I just Well, what forget. really happened is Jim was getting his hair and makeup done. <laughs> That's right mean, off okay. camera. And he's so camera aware that, you know, he just completely forgot to do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> As he looks away from the camera. Yeah. You know what okay. I think? So, yeah. So let's, let's get are you this a, thing uh, Are you ready to get this thing down. out? Yeah, let's... let's Oh, thank you. There's the music. That would be pretty good. Oh, at least that part worked. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I'm Robert. I'm here with Jim Felder. Jim Felder, that's me. So thanks again for listening to another episode of PhotoFacts Podcast. Live from Bedford in Oklahoma City.